everybody, welcome to this week's Blonde Moment. I was having a conversation with some colleagues earlier today about some of the new changes we've already discussed on our Blonde Moments of the Week that are happening on Facebook. The algorithms change on a frequent basis and it's really difficult for small business owners to try to find their place in the Facebook news feed. So how do you get around it? How do you get yourself out there and onto the Facebook platform in front of the users and the audiences that you want to have a genuine connection with? You're in luck, because this week I'm gonna be talking to you about a couple of different ways you can beat the Facebook system. So I learned this really cool trick from a colleague of mine. I have a lot of colleagues, as you can tell. And she actually takes this nonprofit client's donation options and puts them into products on the Facebook page. Another way that you can beat the Facebook system is by, yes, you guessed it, Facebook groups. I've already talked about the importance of Facebook groups and how vital it is that your business has one. You do want to identify though if it's right for your business to have a Facebook group. If you're a lawnmower, it might not be a great idea to have a Facebook group for clients or customers of your lawn mowing business, but it might be a good idea to have other lawn mowers and landscapers in your area and your local region in a Facebook group together to exchange leads and contacts. Another way you can beat the Facebook system is by putting together a band of brand advocates. You may have heard this term before and it's really important that you understand what a brand advocate is. It's somebody who absolutely positively, without a doubt in their mind, loves your brand. Identify those people and pull them together into a group message where you can talk to them about your brand and upcoming sales or products or new releases of articles on a weekly basis and then invite them to share that content. Invite them to come into the store and preview your new latte or invite them into your store to have a couple of pancakes and leave a review and share it with their friends on Instagram and Facebook. Those people who already love your brand, the better you're gonna become and the more traction you're gonna get on an organic basis. Another way you can beat the Facebook system is by actually truly engaging with the people who like and comment on your posts. Heck, even if they share a post, go over to their page and say, hey, thanks for sharing. Those are just some of the ideas I have when it comes to beating the Facebook system. If you have your own ideas and things that you have seen that have actually proven true in beating the Facebook system, comment with that information below so that we can share and collaborate. Well, that's the Blonde Moment of the Week for now. I'll see you next time on next week's Blonde Moment.